Sit up, come and get up. I don't know if I can get you up. You can there. jump up, you can jump up. Do you need help to get up? Or just come, walk up the stairs and come down. Yeah, I'll walk up the stairs. <laughs> just I was going to sit. Sit down. <laughs> Thanks so much. No problem. Perfect, so thank you so much for sitting down with me today. What a press conference. So this is the biggest crossover event so far. What do you make of it so far? What, do you, what are you thinking? It's carnage, right? It's, it's, it's carnage. chaotic, it's, it's crazy. First of all, well done being here as well. Thank First you. of all, well done being here. But no, it's a, it's a crazy event. I think it was always going to be crazy. When you look at the fighters in it, there's no way this wasn't going to happen. Like, you know, um, if you've been following KSI's journey for a while and Tommy Furies and Logan and Dylan Dennis, there was just no way on earth that these guys weren't going to do what they did today. But it sells. Because I know I've already got friends that are tweeting me now asking for tickets. Like, yo, can I get a ticket? And I'm like, it's done. So it sells. Um, but from my perspective, working on it, it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's fun. It's yeah. fun nonetheless. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I was in the second seat right over okay. there. I thought the water was going to splash on me, so I was like, what is going to happen? There you go. But I there are a lot of jabs being thrown at these press conferences, a lot of people coming for family members and stuff. Do you think it goes too far sometimes? Yeah, I have to be honest, there is that. Um, some will say, and a lot of those things have been said by Dylan, mm -hmm. but then Dylan's probably sold this event more than anyone. It's like kind of yin and yang, isn't it? Like if he kept quiet and just was a normal, boring, pro boxer who doesn't say much to him like eh, no one's interested it's entertainment it's entertainment right and that's what we want we want to be entertained right yeah. and that's how we get different people in the sport mm -hmm. young females watching the sport other people watching the sport as well so i do feel like he's crossed the line a little bit and what i hope happens after the fight when they've gone in the ring and given it all there's a bit of a handshake and almost like an apology like i just said words to sell the fight but this is boxing and how do you feel being in the middle of that you're often the mediator trying to calm things down but then things are getting thrown people are banging on the cages how do you, how does that feel having that role there's almost a part of me that's like a day you can't control the uncontrollables mm -hmm. like on these guys and girls are going to do and do anything um so i guess my job there is just to when it kicks off run so I always just literally, I always, you probably see me, I'm always like, okay, I'm out of here. Don't be the hero. I don't want to be the hero, you know, I'm not that guy. They don't pay me enough for that. Yeah. So, um, no, I think, I think you've got to let them be who they are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I signed up to do this, I kind of understood this isn't traditional boxing. These guys and girls act up on their YouTube channels anyway. So I think I just kind of predicted it would happen. But I enjoy it. It's fun for me. I enjoy doing it. Yeah. Um, and long may it continue. I hope so too. And so when KSI and Logan were first in the ring together, they hated each other, diss tracks, this is here. Yeah. But now they have a business together and KSI calls him his partner in crime. Do you think that could happen for Logan and Dylan or KSI and Tommy Fury? Absolutely not. No, no way, honestly. Um, you know, maybe Tommy and KSI, there's, there's potential there. But Logan and Dylan, absolutely not. No, no is, never. No, this is genuine hatred. Like, I always felt like with the Logan and KSI, it felt a bit WWE. Like I didn't know if it was real or not. You know, they were a lot younger at the time. Uh, Logan and Dylan dislike each other a lot. Like separate hotels, they're nowhere near each other. They've got their own security. No, uh, absolutely not. But as you said, I mean, Logan and KSI are making billions with each other and money talks. So um, who knows, but I, I, I doubt it, I can't see it. But Dylan and um, Logan made a bet, so if Dylan wins, he's the best man at Logan's wedding. Yeah. How would that go down if you know, they hate each other's guts? They're never going to talk after this. You know what, I've seen so many of these bets at boxing. Mm -hmm. I bet you all your purse and they shake it and no one pays out any bet. So I think Dylan said if he loses, you're right, he's going to be the best man. And I think um, someone's bet their whole purse as well. Ah, ain't gonna happen. You ain't think gonna they're happen. not gonna follow through? No chance. Absolutely no chance. I just want them to get in the ring and then we can talk about the bets after. But no, I, I've been around, I, I, you can see the greys in my beard. I've been around so long <laughs> where fighters have promised things and no one delivers. And finally, do you have any predictions of who you think are gonna, is gonna win or can you not say? <laughs> I've said it a lot already. So I, I don't mind saying it. I think um, Tommy will beat KSI because Tommy is the boxer and should win. Right, he should beat KSI. KSI is the YouTuber. So I'm going to go, Tommy, I'm going to go Dylan Dennis to cause the upset. Hey, all right. Dylan Dennis <laughs> to cause the upset. And another fight that I'm so interested in is Walid versus Dean the Great. Right. And I'm going to go sitting on the fence for that one. But the two co main events, I'm going Tommy and Dylan Dennis. Right, okay, perfect. Thank you so much for talking to me today. I, I can't that. wait for the fight on Saturday. Well, guys, I need you all to do me a favor, please. Melita, 
as I think one of the best up and coming YouTube channels on planet Earth. What you need to do, hit that subscribe button, like and share, leave a comment. I'm going to subscribe. Do you know I've got a YouTube channel? Yeah. I've got a YouTube channel. I'm going to I'm going to subscribe right now. I'm going to subscribe right now. One second. This is going on camera, right? Where's my phone? This is live proof. Live proof. I'm subscribing right now to Melita's channel. Oh, thank you. We've got to subscribe, Melita. One second. The phone's not even open. Okay, here we go. Though. You think? Here we go. Subscribe. How many? 383. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what I'm going to post you on mine, as well as this man behind you, and we're going to get that to a thousand by the end of the night. We got to. We got okay. to. We got Thank to. So Melissa, well done, sister. Thank you. Take care.